Good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. We're so used to having 12 o'clock meetings. <laughs> I'm going to call meeting to order, and I'm going to ask Pastor Cyrus to give us the invocation, and Chief Dunn to give us the pledge, please. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, please, after the page. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May be seated, and we'll have roll call by our board secretary, Jamie. Mrs. Jerry Booker. Here. Representative C. Denise Marcel. Here. Attorney Jennifer Mozart. Here. Mr. Jamie Robinson. Here. Ms. Pamela Mitchell. Here. Ms. Patricia Williams. Here. Pastor Leo Cyrus. Hello. Attorney Steve Schilling. He's in route. Chief Carl Dunn. Here. Ms. Ingrid Payne. Mrs. Kathy Coleman. Councilwoman Carolyn Coleman. Present. Dr. Derek Cole. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. We are open for public comments. Are there any public comments? Public comments? Public comments. Hearing no public comments, we're going to move to the next item on the agenda, which is dinner is served. So this is a non-traditional uh, annual meeting. It's not norm like normal. So staff is going to bring you all your dinner. And while we have dinner, so you, we can expedite time, because I know some folks have to go to graduation and, and those sorts of things. Um, <clears throat> so I have dinner brought to you all. And as we do that, uh, we'll have the secretary to come up. But I just want you to know um, Ms. Pratt will come up before um, Jamie makes the nominations. She'll come up and tell you uh, about the voting, the, the votings that have already taken place all the last week. Ms. Pratt, if you would. So the seniors have already voted. So tonight you all will vote, and any member of the public that is on the roster can vote um, tonight. Uh, I'll vote with you all. But the seniors have voted, and Ms. Pratt will explain to you how we did that. And, and that's COVID precautions. Too tall for you. <laughs> Y'all heard it? Shut up. <laughs> I was talking to the mic. <laughs> okay. On last week, uh, five teams of staff members were sent out to every senior center that we have in the parish. We went. Uh, teams of four or five people went to each site. At those sites, we conducted election. Uh, for our board members. We gave them the background information that we had on the new people that are coming on the board and answering any questions they may have about people they didn't know on the board. So we conducted those uh, elections at those sites. The uh, ballots were tallied there and they were sealed and brought back to the office. After all the sites had been visited, and that includes our feeding sites, we had a total of 605 seniors that voted. Uh, we we uh, came back to um, the Asian Center, we did a summation, and I have that information to, yeah, after you vote, I'll give you all the totals, whatever, <laughs> for each person at each site. 
But anyway, that, that was conducted last week, and we did that um, so that every senior would have an opportunity to vote since we couldn't gather like we normally do. Now we're going to move to the nominating committee report, and that's by our secretary, Jamie Robbins. Good afternoon. This is the annual membership meeting for the purpose of electing board members. Board members can serve two consecutive terms for a period of three years each. There have been a number of people who have gone off the board and we need to replace them at this annual meeting. The individuals who are no longer on the board are as follows. Attorney Chandler Loop, whom represented us on the Baton Rouge community appointment from May 2022 to May 2025, was the su supposed term. Father Richard Andrews, who held the nonprofit organization appointment, which was set to be from May 2022 to May of 2023. The, the Board Development Committee has provided the board with a list of potential candidates. And they are as follows. Ms. Connie Kirsch to assume the Baker Community Appointment. Reverend Dr. Mary Whitley Moss, who will assume the, tentatively, tentatively assume the nonprofit appointment. Reverend Donald Hunter for the Baton Rouge Community Appointment. Attorney Jacqueline Nash Grant, who will assume, tentatively assume the public private appointment. So on your ballots, you will have for board members nominated to finish an unexpired term will be as follows. Sergeant Connie Kirsch for the Baker Community Appointment. Reverend Dr. Mary Whitley Moss for the nonprofit appointment. Reverend Donald Hunter for the Baton Rouge Community Appointment. For the temporary board member nominations for the first term, so members who will be um, completing a term that is currently active, Attorney Jacqueline Nash Grant for the public private appointment, which is this is for from May 2022 until May 2025, and Councilwoman Carolyn Coleman, who will assume the public private agency appointment which was from May 2021 and will conclude May 2024. Board members nominated for second term, Mr. Jamie Robinson, nonprofit appointment, Mrs. Kathy Coleman, nonprofit appointment, Mrs. Ingrid Payne, Zachary, community appointment, Ms. Pamela Mitchell, central community appointment, Chief Carl Dunn, Baton Rouge community appointment, Ms. Patricia Williams, at-large agency appointment. Dr. Derek Cole, public-private agency appointment. Attorney Steve Schilling, at-large agency appointment. Representative C. Denise Marcel, the nonprofit appointment. We have prepared ballots to make the process easier. We will also take nominations from the floor. I will give you a moment to open your ballot. Please listen carefully for each position. It's in your folders, members. The public has their ballots. Mm-hmm. 
At this time, we will ask you all, are there any other nominations that will come from the floor? Are there any other nominations that will come from the floor? Are there any nominations that will come from the floor? Hearing none at this time, can we get a member of the general board to, to make a motion to close nominations? It's been properly moved by State Representative C. Denise Marcel and second by Chief Carl Dunn. Are there any objections? Hearing, hearing none, all those in favor say aye. aye. At this time, we turn it back over to our chairwoman, Ms. Sherry Booker. Okay. We'll allow you guys two additional moments to vote, and then staff will collect your ballots. Yes. If, if there are no other nominations, there are but one person per position. Can I move that we elect these officers? There are no competition, so I don't see why we need to vote. Well, uh, well at the senior center, there were okay. some from the floor nominees. Okay. So. We, we, we need to just make a complete tally, uh, uh -huh, so that, you know, some of the seniors was nominating themselves, you know, so we got, we have to, we got to go through the whole process, okay. Madam Vice Chair. <laughs> just, uh, some of them was nominating other people. <laughs> they did, but no, they had enough to win, you know that. Members, let me clarify something for you. Um, Ms. Amar made the statement that we're voting because we have members from our senior centers, seniors from our senior centers who nominated people from the floor. Mm -hmm. The reason you don't have their names on their ballots is because they did not win the votes of their senior center. So that's why their name is not on the ballot because they're not eligible to be on the ballot based upon our bylaws. Okay, that's why you don't see their names. Okay, the tallies are in and our secretary would read everything to you. Okay. From our senior centers, we received 606 votes. 55 members of our staff voted, 11 board members voted, and at this time we will c congratulate the following appointments that will serve in our open, unexpired terms. Sergeant Connie Kirsch, filling the Baker Community Appointment, Reverend Dr. Mary Willis Moss, Whitley Moss, filling our vacant nonprofit appointment, and Reverend Donald Hunter for our commu Baton Rouge community seat. Congratulations. <laughs> Temporary board nominations for first term seat. Attorney Jacqueline Nash Grant will fill the vacant public private appointment. And Councilwoman Carolyn R. Coleman will fill the vacant public-private appointment. Congratulations. <laughs> Board members nominated for a second term, Mr. Jamie Robinson, nonprofit appointment, Mrs. Kathy Coleman, nonprofit appointment, Ms. Ingrid Payne, Zachary Community appointment, Ms. Pamela Mitchell, Central Community appointment, 
Chief Carl Dunn, Baton Rouge Community, Ms. Patricia Williams, at-large agency appointment, Dr. Derek Cole, public agency appointment, public-private, I'm sorry, at-large agency appointment, attorney Steve Schilling, nonprofit appointment, state representative C. Denise Marcel. Congratulations. At this time, we will have the Honorable Judge Yvette Alexander, the Chief Judge of City Court, representing Division D, to come install our new board members and current board, current board members. All of them. All of them. <laughs> Everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All board members, will you please come to the front? <laughs> Everybody. Come to the front. All current board members. All the new board members that are coming in. For your new term. Board members for your new turn. Before I end this meeting, I just want to say that it's been a pleasure working with the Council on Aging, and I'm probably the longest member that's been on the board, and you know that's because of the pandemic. So it's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed working with everyone, and whenever you need me, they know they can find me, and they know where to find me. <laughs> so uh, after today, I won't be at the meeting, but if you need me, give me a call. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 She served, she's been the longest serving chairperson we have. And in that same vein, we want to say thank you to her, not only because she served that long with Ms. Booker, we're we going to meet her at her doctor's appointment for signatures. We call her at her house early in the morning. She said, Natasha, you know I'm retired. I don't get up this early. But anytime I call her morning, noon, and night, she is here. So we have a token of our appreciation for her. Um, and it reads, from us and from the seniors, with our greatest appreciation, Ms. Jerry Booker, and recognition for your unwavering support, unrelenting guidance while serving as our board chairwoman that assisted in leading our agency, during the most difficult period, COVID-19, the global pandemic, 
We appreciate your exceptional leadership and dedication 2019 to 2022. And that's from us. And also, we want to give you your flowers. We always, you know, my mama taught me you give people their flowers while they're here. So we want to give you these beautiful roses. Thank you so much. They're heavy. These real roses. It's not the amount of the ounces. <laughs> One thing I forgot to say, I just want to tell the new board members, don't mess with the staff. <laughs> this is the best staff that you'll find, so make sure you don't mess with them. And also we have something for all our outgoing board members. Next we have something for Attorney Jennifer Morzan, our other board chair emeritus. And it reads, Jennifer, in grateful appreciation, there are no words to express our deep felt thanks your service commitment and dedication has been a blessing to the agency and seniors of East Baton Rouge Parish, 2016 to 2022. That's how long we had you. So Jennifer, did six years, we appreciate you, we love you, and you all have new shirts. There's a shirt in there, and yours says, Board Chair Emeritus. Thank you. Oh, okay. have one for our good pastor, my good pastor, who just told me I can't watch church on Zoom anymore because I got to come to put my clothes on and come to church. So I'm going to be there. I'm not going to say which Sunday. You're not going to lock me down like that. But we have one for, our, for great pastor Cyrus has served 12 years, two six-year terms. And this is for We're going to bring it to you. We're going to bring it to you. And it says, in grateful appreciation, there are no words to express. Our deep felt thanks for your service, commitment, and dedication has been a blessing to this agency and the seniors of East Baton Rouge Parish, and especially the CEO. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you got a nice new shirt too, so we still want you to represent the agency, and we will be calling you to come back. <laughs> And we have one other for uh, Councilman, former Councilman Chandler Loop. And y'all know he moved to Colorado, so we will mail him his. And so we want to say thank you. And then, Mr. Secretary, if you want to move for adjournment, because don't leave new board members and newly reseated board members. We have a brief follow-up meeting right here, right after that. We just have to elect officers, and now I'll let you all go home. Got to do that today, according to the bylaws. Okay? Chairwoman Booker. For the final time, I move that we adjourn today's board meeting. Can we, can we get a second? Second. All in favor? All right. Okay, y'all. Uh,